All right, I've been asked a few questions about connecting an infrared outdoor thermal monocular uh, to a computer or to a phone via the application. Uh, so I've got some other videos on my channel for the IE3W, which is a 384 res uh, thermal spotter. And I've been taking some videos with that out in the field. And so I just wanted to cover first how to get the application. So I've got my iPhone there next to it. I've already done this on the iPhone. Uh, but to simulate on a screen that you can actually see, I've got the uh, desktop here. And so if you go to infrayoutdoor.com, this is their main uh, page. And then up here, if you click on support, there is an option for infrared app. And so you click on that, and it's going to present you with three options for the app. You can do an Android, Google Store, Google Play Store, or an Apple Store. So based on your handset uh, or your particular device that you're trying to put the Infrared Outdoor app on, you would select that, and it will take you straight to uh, the portal at which you can download the app. So again, I've done that already on this iPhone, so I will power up the i3w it's going to get started there and then once it comes uh, up to full screen I will access the long menu again I did a menu walkthrough video that discussed how to bring up that long menu and we'll activate Wi-Fi set that down alright so then uh, after you open your Wi-Fi settings on the phone you should have a connection to something of the order of I and then a series of numbers and uh, so you connect to that using the password one two three four five six seven eight and then after successfully connecting uh, you can go to the screen that shows your application that you downloaded the app it's going to bring up uh, this splash page here and it has a series, a number of uh, different devices from Infrared Outdoor listed here. Uh, it's sort of a marketing slash uh, application page there. But since we have a connection to the IE3W right now, let's go over just essentially accessing the files. So to do that, there's a series of four tiles here under the media gallery. You would want to hit remote file. And then there you'll see two different folders. Uh, one is a 2020 and then one is more recent 2022. So what happened with that first folder is I had gotten recording some videos uh, and it was based on the default time that the unit shipped with. And so after I realized my time was not correct, uh, I had to synchronize the time with the E3W. You cannot change your time and date on the actual unit so let's go through that real quick on how to do that using this application. If you click on Viewfinder, it's going to access the E3W, and then there's going to be a camera screen, and there is a cog on the upper level here. So we'll click on that cog. And about part down, part ways down here, synchronize phone's time to the device. And you simply just click that. It'll tell you success. And then after you've done that, any subsequent recordings that you do would now utilize a folder that is the current, near the current date, right? Okay. And then so um, before we get to working with the files, so that's accessing them using the remote files tile. Uh, if I go to videos, I just want to call out that right now I have two videos and they start with the name audio. I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, but there's only two videos in the video tile. So let's say, for instance, you're uh, accessing some remote files in the field. You've just taken some footage. And let's access this one here. It's going to download it automatically into the application and start playing it. So it's auto playing that file and then if you were to back out of that 
if you go to your videos, it is now automatically downloaded into your video tile. Uh, so that's sort of neat because uh, if you uh, subsequently stow this thermal monocular, you put it away and the next day you're out uh, with some friends or some family and you're discussing you know, uh, the use of your equipment and they want to see some of the footage, you don't need the actual device to connect and pair in order to access that. It's going to be your video tile. Okay, so now that I have the video tile open, let's say you want to save this outside of the application to your phone. You simply press and hold on the video, it'll check mark it here, and then you have a share down in the lower left, and you can choose what to do with it. So you can click save video, and for me that's going to go directly into my uh, photo reel, and then from there I'm able to uh, text it or email it and uh, put it where I need to put it. All right, so if you want to stream using the app, you click on viewfinder and that's going to give you the live view through the device so right here I'm putting my hand in front of it you can see we're streaming live and you have two options so it's the camera screen and you have photo and video so you could take photos if you'd like but I was using the video function and if you click on the word video it'll turn blue and then you simply press and hold that record icon for a quick second or two and it'll show you that it's recording and when you're done and you want to save it you press it again and it'll save it. So the neat thing about the Infrared Outdoor app is it has a microphone option and if you click that it highlights the microphone in red and then if you were to take a video it's going to record using the microphone in the phone and automatically splice that uh, and create the file. Now here's a note for that. When you do that, you will not find that file in remote files. So on the 25th or thereabouts of uh, June when I took these other files, these were recorded directly using the onboard recorder that's video only and this is where they're sto stored on remote files. However, I took one through the app using the audio feature and that is found under the video tile and again back to my previous mention of the word audio in the file name. These are going to be locked into your application and not available on the unit if you record through the app uh, and use that microphone feature. So. Uh, you just have to know how to access and uh, work with your files. It's all there. You can simply uh, save these files just as we did the other one to your phone. Email it, text it, Dropbox it, do whatever you need to do to work with it. Uh, so that's some basic functionality in connecting the Infrared Outdoor Thermal Monocular to a uh, handset. Uh, it works very seamlessly. They put a lot of work into that and uh, I've had no glitches or malfunctions or corruptions. Uh, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Appreciate it.